which means it's time for a new edition of Midday Eats. And if today has you wanting a margarita, a taco, or some chips and dip, we have the perfect spot for you over in Sparkle City. And joining us again this week is Big Dave Eats himself. All right, where are we going? We're going to Don Bagotes. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm so excited about this one. This, this one is a special one. Um, small backdrop about the place. Three bro brothers own the place, family oh owned, operated. Yeah. Um, all of the food there is true to their ethnicity. Um, they, they keep the bold flavors, and the portion sizes are huge. I'm talking about huge. This is a good one. We always love when we get a generous portion oh, yeah. size. Oh, That's yeah. great. Well, we did map it out for you. Mm -hmm. They are over on Springfield Road. How did you find out about about this spot? Um, a couple of my uh, people that follow me, they were like, Dave, you got to try this. And um, it, it was one of those things where, you know, I've wrote, driven past it plenty of times. It'd be like, ah, okay, I'll get to it. But um, one of the best things I could ever do is just go and visit this place. Wow. I'm, uh, yeah, seriously. They are, they're spot on. And they have beautiful murals that we were just looking oh, at. Oh, yeah. That's quite the vibe oh, that yeah. they're creating there. We have to, of course, take a look at today's menu. So we're going to try a frozen margarita. Mm -hmm. We've got some chips and dips, a barbacoa taco, mm -hmm. the burrito burrito sensei, and then we've got a surprise item Ooh. that we're going to talk about in a little bit. Yes, that's but surprise. But first, got to head to the bar. And you gave quite the compliment. You said mm -hmm. this was the best tequila selection in Sparkle City, so Absolutely. what was the unicorn that you found? Yeah, they have the best tequila selection in, in Spartanburg, and, and if someone uh, can tell me different, please let me know. I want to go see. Um, okay. It's on point. I found the unicorn, which is Fortaleza. I'm uh, somewhat of a tequila snob, and Fortaleza is the best tequila out, and you can't find it anywhere. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's, it's everyone, it's a high demand for it, and they only make so so many bottles, so yeah, that's why I'm just calling it the unicorn, but it's on point. Yeah, and then you have the frozen house mark. Oh, yeah. You like yeah. that? They made it fresh, um, and I, you know, I've been on this frozen drink kick for a while, but it was <laughs> very, very good. Very fresh. You know, I love a good mark. Oh, I know yeah. You're usually a mule fan, yep. so when Whenever I can hear it, there's a good mark spot. Oh, yeah. Music to my ears. Absolutely. So we'll add this one to the list. <laughs> uh, and then you tried chips and dips. Yep. So tell me kind of what the spread was. Okay, so when you go in, um, they're going to give you... First off, it's going to be roasted tomatoes, which is seasoned perfectly. It's going to be, um, then they're going to go to a bean dip, and you're going to have the, of course, the, the, the spicy salsa, which they mm. make everything in-house. But I'm going to tell you something, Haley. That okay. bean dip, That's oh your favorite. my goodness. Yeah, it's special. It is special, for real. <laughs> Oh yeah. All right, tell me about the taco that you tried. Okay, now, so um, one of the one of the owners, he was like, man, look, I want you to get this experience, right? And um, it's like, this is what we make at home. And the, the taco, it, it's um, it's called a barbacoa, and basically the meat, it, it stems from a ch the cheek meat of mm -hmm. an ox or a cow. Okay. And, and yeah, it was good. And, and the thing about it, he said, you compare it to uh, a burrito taco, but only thing with with this taco, he doesn't cook his a uh, taco well the shell in the consomme. He said because that takes away from the flavor of the meat, and I get everything he's saying. They top it with cilantro, onions, um, and lime, but it was very, very good. I highly recommend trying it. That's definitely the street taco version exactly. too. When you get the cilantro mm -hmm. and the onion, I prefer that over the Americanized oh, taco yeah. any day. Oh yeah. So love that. All right, I feel like the showstopper here was this burrito sensei. Mm -hmm. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. Okay, so the reason why it's called sensei is because. Um, George, he's, again, one of the owners. He's the mastermind in the kitchen. He comes up with these creative dishes. This dish right here, you have uh, steak, chicken, shrimp, because they are huge. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, and then rice and beans and carnita, which is uh, the Mexican pulled pork. Yeah. And they encompass everything in the, in the burrito, and then they top it with cheese and avocado. Wow. Oh, my goodness, wow. The avocado would sell me on this one. Oh, I yeah. love avocados. And, but and, I, and pair it with the, with the meat, all of the meat and yeah. everything blends together. The avocado, it ties in so great together. It almost looks like an enchilada, <laughs> even though I know it's a burrito. But there's, like, so much, like, cheese on that or whatever that is. It looks so good. Oh, yeah. But we have to talk about, I feel like the, the biggest cheat code we might have ever had on Midday Eats okay. is this next dish. Yes. Tell us about it. Yeah, this dish, you can only get this at Don Bagotis. And Haley, I'm so happy about this. Um, <laughs> but when I first started going there, it was like, hey, I want you to try this. I want you to try this. I want you to try this. And we came, they came up with a dip. And the dip is so good, they say, we, can we name it Big Dave? And so it's the Big Dave dip. This what, is the, the Big Dave Big dip. Dave dip. Okay. I'm telling you, this is, woohoo, boy. Okay, so, oh, okay, look. Okay, I know I, I got to bring it back. This is, it. Can, you have chicken, mm. steak, scrimp. And they they put um, 
two different kinds of, of, of sausage in it, and then cheese on top of cheese, pico de gallo, oh chorizo. Oh, my goodness, it's just so good. And you, you can have it however you want it. They bring out chips with it, so you can eat it with the chip. So just imagine with all this going on, you take a chip in there, you don't know what you're getting. Every time you take a bite, yeah. it's just like an explosion, right? That's so true, yeah. So if you don't want to get messy, you can bring, they bring out uh, the tortillas and you can, you know, line up, fill up a tortilla, roll it up and eat it, you know, yeah, just kind of like a small burrito. Yeah, there's enough to be a taco though, Yeah, oh for yeah, sure. oh yeah, yeah. And the price point, which I never talk about price points, is under 15 bucks. And you can feed like two, three people out of this one bowl. It's amazing. It looks pretty good. Very We're good. We're excited for you to have a dish named after you. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> if you would like to try the Big Dave Dip or anything that we just talked about, Don Bigotes is located at 508 Springfield Road in Spartanburg. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. with that authentic Mexican cuisine. And, of course, for more Midday Eats recommendations, be sure to head to foxcarolina.com.